there, viewers. It seems like we're bombarded with tips on nutrition and weight loss. There's just so much content out there talking about what you should eat and what you shouldn't. Unfortunately, a lot of this information is incorrect. And in today's video, we're gonna list 17 nutrition myths and facts. Are calories all that matter when it comes to weight loss? Are high fat foods unhealthy? Is breakfast the most important meal of the day? We'll talk about all these and more. Number one, calories in, calories out. You need to burn more calories than you consume. There is no question about that. But if you think this is the only thing that matters when it comes to weight, you're mistaken. There are other factors such as metabolic conditions and hormonal imbalance that have an effect on your weight loss. This is why some people find it harder to drop weight even when they're following a strict diet plan. Are you trying to lose weight? Do you count calories to keep track of your diet? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number two, high fat foods are unhealthy. You may ditch high fat foods out of fear it makes you gain weight. A low fat diet can be beneficial to your overall health, plus reduce your weight. But that's not always the case. You need dietary fat to maintain your health. Research has also shown that diets with higher fat content are just as good at helping you lose weight as low fat diets. Number three, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You've probably heard this all your life, but research shows it's not necessarily the case for most adults. Skipping breakfast means you reduce the number of calories you consume. Secondly, skipping breakfast while doing intermittent fasting has shown to have a number of health benefits. You can, of course, have breakfast and still control your calorie count. If you enjoy eating breakfast, eat it, just as long as you keep yourself in check the rest of the day. Number four, you need to eat small, frequent meals to stay healthy. If you're a healthy person, this makes no difference. As long as you're eating enough to meet your energy needs for the day, smaller meals don't make a difference. Small, frequent meals only benefit if you have medical conditions like diabetes or IBS. Have I caught your interest? Well then hit that subscribe button to watch more videos. Join our millions of followers for more amazing Bestie content. Number five, non-nutritive sweeteners are healthy. You may think using non-nutritive sweeteners is a healthy alternative to foods with added sugar. This is not necessarily the case. A high intake of these sweeteners also has negative effects on your health. Research has shown that consuming non-nutritive sweeteners regularly has been linked with an unhealthy lifestyle. Number six, macronutrient ratio matters more than diet quality. Fitness freaks tend to focus on macronutrients and their ratio in your diet. The focus on these ratios rather than the overall quality of the diet itself doesn't exactly help your overall health. So protein shakes and processed foods can increase disease risk. Number seven, white potatoes are unhealthy. Anyone who's following a diet usually avoids white potatoes, especially if they wanna lose weight. This is because it's presumed that white potatoes come with too many carbs. In reality, white potatoes have good nutritional value and should be part of your diet. It doesn't, of course, mean you should splurge on them, but you shouldn't completely ignore them. Number eight, low-fat foods are healthy alternatives. You might be looking for low-fat or fat-free products when you go to your grocery store, but as it turns out, these kinds of foods can be more harmful. Research shows these so-called fat-free products actually have a lot of added sugar and salt compared to regular foods. Instead of buying these products, you're better off having small amounts of yogurt and cheese. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. If you are trying to lose weight, you can follow these six exercises that can transform your body in just four weeks. Number nine, supplements are a waste of money. A well-rounded diet is always preferred, but for people with diseases like type 2 diabetes or those on medication, they may not be able to get all the nutrients they need. This is where supplements come in handy. It's a myth that supplements are completely useless. They provide important nutrients you can't get from a regular diet. Number 10, a low calorie diet is the best way to lose weight. It's often believed that eating less calories will help you lose weight. Well, it is true that your weight will fall, but this isn't good for your overall health as you won't be getting enough energy to last throughout the day. Your weight loss also doesn't last long. A low calorie diet ends up ruining your metabolic rate and increases your hunger pangs. Number 11, you have to be skinny to be healthy. It's true that obesity is linked with a number of diseases such as type 2 diabetes and heart-related issues. To avoid the risk of getting these diseases, it's important to reduce your weight. But it doesn't necessarily mean you have to become rail thin. Being skinny is not equivalent to being healthy. What you need to do is consume a diet with enough nutrients to support an active lifestyle. 
Number 12. Calcium supplements are necessary for bone health. Supplements are good for increasing your nutrient intake, but popping calcium supplements thinking they're necessary for your bone health is unnecessary. Research shows that these calcium supplements do more harm than good. They increase your risk of heart disease and actually fail to reduce the chances of a fracture or osteoporosis. Number 13. Fiber supplements are a good substitute for high-fiber foods. Another myth surrounding supplements is that they can be substituted for high-fiber foods. You may have trouble including fiber-rich foods in your diet, so fiber supplements can feel like a decent option. But they don't work on your body the same way. Fibers from vegetables and fruits have specific plant compounds which work in synergy to improve your health. Supplements can't do that. Number 14. All smoothies and juices are healthy. Smoothies and juices packed with nutrients or those freshly made are quite beneficial for your health. A mistake you might make is thinking this applies to store-bought smoothies as well. You need to remember that smoothies and juices you get from stores are loaded with added sugars and calories. The more you drink them, the more weight you gain. Number 15. Everyone can benefit from a probiotic. Probiotics are easily the most popular supplement, but they're not useful to everyone. Some people don't get any benefits from them. This could be because your digestive system is resistant to probiotics. Also, you might have bacterial growth in your small intestine due to the use of probiotics. This can end up causing bloating and other issues. Number 16. Weight loss is easy. You may see pictures online of people who have seemingly lost a ton of weight. Supplement companies also do this to advertise their products. It might give the impression that weight loss is easy, but that's not the case. Weight loss requires a lot of hard work and consistency and takes longer than you might be led to believe. Number 17. Tracking calories and macros is necessary for weight loss. Sometimes you find yourself obsessed with counting calories. This is in pursuit of your weight loss goals. Tracking your food is a useful tool, but not at the cost of tracking every single morsel you put in your mouth. If you obsess over calories, you might actually end up with an eating disorder. While there are so many myths about nutrition, there are also some facts you might want to know about. For instance, there are a few basic nutrients that affect your body in more ways than you think. Wondering what they are? Let's get into a few more videos, shall we? Watch how the six basic nutrients affect your body, or how about nine of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about health and wellness. Do you follow a well-balanced diet plan? Are you trying to lose weight? Let us know in the comments below.